Recently, I posted a few little shorts about aphids, and I want to show you how I made those videos. I've been using my own microscope to take a lot of the, the really close-up footage. Some of the, the, the ants feeding off honeydew, that was actually stock footage, just because I wasn't patient enough to actually try and capture that. All of the close-ups, especially of the, the green aphids, that's all me with my little microscope. I bought this thing several years ago. It was like a hundred bucks. And it is like, it's so fun. It's so nice. If I'm ever tempted to just binge watch the news or scroll, I put down my phone and I go look at the microscope. And it's very, very relaxing. It really helps. Uh, yeah, it saves my life, you know? It stops me from going crazy. I learned how to do this mostly by watching Oliver. He's got a YouTube channel called Microbe Hunter. I think he's a high school biology teacher or something like that. He's So he's been using microscopes in his classroom since forever. And he just gives really cool little tutorials on how to do everything. He's the one who taught me how to do dark field microscopy. It's where you block the light directly behind your sample, but still let the light pour in from the sides to light it up. And that's how you get these really cool images that I'm showing you here. This is pond scum under dark field microscopy. But he's really cool. And then, of course, there's Journey to the Microcosmos, which is by Hank Green. But honestly, I, I really like Oliver more. He's, he's very... Uh, I just enjoy listening to him. He's very humble, very down to earth, just trying to show you cool stuff under the microscope. I've done a lot of stuff with pond scum, which is really fun. And recently I realized that if I just add a flashlight to the top of it, I can use it as kind of like a stereo microscope. I light it from the top instead of lighting it from the bottom. And it's really nice. It's really fun for when you're looking at bigger things. You just use the lowest possible magnification and you don't use a cover slip, obviously. And you just zoom in and out. It has a really tight focal point, which is a little bit annoying, but I don't know. It kind of looks cool, I think. So what happened here is I had a tree in my yard and it was infested with aphids and I just clipped off some little pieces and threw them under the microscope. Look at these cool little aphids. They're a lot cuter than I thought they'd be. 